Fresh from their iHeart GU success, the guys from Project Inspire are back with a touching and heartwarming short film called Brotherhood. Project Inspire is a production group consisting of four main people, co-writer, choreographer John Kelly Kalangtang, director Neil Romero, musical producer Chad Soto, and director Justin Baldovino. The main goal is to affect people on a positive level. Romero adds, We try our best to have a moralistic um, uh, type, type of films. We, ha we try to put morals in them. Um, from time to time, we'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit of comedy, and it will, it'll be completely off track from, from morals. But, um, you know, we try our best to, to entertain and to inspire everyone to go after the arts because uh, we, we believe that if, you know, arts really help the community. Uh, we want more people to be uh, outgoing. We want them to try new things. And, you know, you never know. You might be good at it. So we, we try to advocate the arts. So how did Brotherhood come about? Well, one early morning at around 3 a.m., the guys were brainstorming ideas for a Christmas special. Kalang Tang explains what was discussed. Whether we're going to showcase someone working late on a Christmas on, a, on Christmas Eve or whatever else came in. But we settled on, um, on a story between two brothers after I told Neil that when it was Black Friday, me and my brother, and one of the scenes there, it was actually, it was real. The whole gun thing, when he cared more about how much, how my family's doing rather than the toy he want. So that's when we decided, we're like, there's your story right there. Romero chimes in saying they wanted to make a film that had a special message. Well, for Brotherhood, you know, our, the, the message we're trying to shoot out there is that, um, you know, Try not to take things for granted and, you know, try not to ask for too much. You know, there's people out there that have less and, you know, we have to be reminded that we have to be grateful for what we have because, you know, we might not have them the next day. The group took it from there with Romero and Baldovino adding the final touches to the script. The script, it was uh, pretty much done right there. All we had to do was um, whenever we plan out a video, we just uh, come up with the outline and then we fill in all the lines just right there. So it didn't really take long to fill the script. It's uh, more of the matter of just filming it. But um, like John said, uh, we, you know, we tried to add uh, more morals within it because um, uh, we thought, uh, we, we tried to put background and make these characters become real life people. Brotherhood is on a much smaller scale compared to iHeartGU. Project Inspire's first movie, which received much praise. Romero admits that with such a big production, it did take a lot out of the group. We've learned a lot over the last few months and we're still continuing to improve on our work. So uh, I guess you could say it, it, there's still some things that are difficult about it, but you know, we, we've improved a lot. Continuing to hone their craft with Brotherhood, Romero says he's quite pleased with the final product. This is actually our first time really like shooting well at night because um, a lot of, uh, we were limited on a lot of, uh, uh, how do you say this, uh, equipment before. But then, uh, thanks to uh, Robert Tenorio from Expression Studio, he, he helps produce the, the, the film by, by lending us all his equipment. So, so you'll notice that a lot of the, the visuals in the film actually look a lot better because of the equipment we're, we're uh, capable of using now. The individual responsible for the musical score was DeSoto, who may look familiar. You may recall you played Hayden Cooper in I Heart GU, but what many will be surprised to know is that DeSoto's passion is music. I scored several tracks for it, but a majority weren't used because they didn't really push the story along too well. So what we ended up doing was using old recycled tracks that weren't used in I Heart GU. So some of the tracks you'd hear in the short film were actually meant to be in I Heart GU, but didn't end up going into the film. Brotherhood took about a week to plan and about four days to shoot. Romero points out working with children, you have to make sure that they aren't tired and, of course, be patient with them. Kalangtang stars in Brotherhood as main character Kia. His little brother, Miko, is played by his actual brother, John Alfred. So what does the adorable nine-year-old have to say about his acting debut? Well, it was kind of tiring, but I kind of got the hand of it. So with the new year, what does Project Inspire have in store for the island. We'll continue to work hard, especially in the year 2012, because we have a lot of projects 
up ahead. So 2012 is going to be a big year for us. We actually have a, another video coming out soon, and you can actually see all our work. Uh, just like our page on uh, Facebook. It's uh, Project Inspire, and you can find us there. And also, like to keep up to date with the videos, you can just look for us on YouTube and subscribe to us. I'd like to thank all our fans and viewers that keep tuning in to our YouTube page. And yeah, stick around because there's a lot of cool stuff going to come out real soon. Just stay inspired, that's all. <laughs>